Hi, I'm six-time Telly Award-winning video producer Bob Gerard. When the staff at St. Mark's asked for me and my documentary crew to come in and observe a week in the life of Father Mark Tuscan, we were a we were surprised at what we found when we got back to the editing suite. We knew that Mark was a nice guy. We knew that he was nurturing, but we had no idea how young and frankly good looking he would appear when he was on the camera. But hey, enough of my talking. Enjoy the rector's office. Now, I don't normally like to use technology in a church service, but I think as long as we don't overdo it. And as long as we use it in very calculated ways. It could enhance the emotional experience of our worship here at St. Mark's. But again, I really don't like to use technology in church. I actually really like technology. I like to look at the glass half full. He's always saying stuff like that in his sermons. Now, someone came into my office this week, and I'm not going to tell you who, but as she was talking to me about her very delicate medical situation, she was stroking her unusually colored hair. And I said to her, when they use Lysex, I don't think it affects pink hair at all. At all. Now, I don't want you to try to figure out who this is, because you won't be able to. Oh, I've probably said too much, but you have no idea who I'm talking about. The Matthew 25 people sent me a bottle of Lysex. Now, there is a lunch in the fellowship hall this afternoon for the Sunday school volunteers, but Claudia, Carol said it's okay if the entire church comes. Is that okay? All right, well, come along. The Prodigal Cafe is paying. Let's stand and sing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye. Heavenly host, praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That man sings too loud. In my 20 years as rector, I have learned that it is important to put the right people in the right positions, and they will put in place the right programs that will allow the church to grow and flourish. I have a great vestry and two great wardens. And that's why I think adding a sauna and a steam room to the fellowship hall will really be a benefit to our congregation. That is a home run, Steve. That is just the best idea. I love this. You know, I go home and tell Peg every night I have the best vestry in the world. And I tell you, Steve, you are the best junior warden in the world. I left vestry in January. He hasn't noticed yet. I just keep coming to the meetings. So we're all good with holding the vestry retreat in Tahiti? Aye. 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 Yeah. Sure. Another home run. This is just the best idea. You know, I always say, if you appoint the right people, they will put in place the best programs. And this is just a perfect example of that. I have the best vestry and the best junior warden. And I hope you know that means a lot to me. So the vestry approved the steam room in the fellowship hall. Well, isn't that great? Well, actually, I was hoping maybe we could use some of that money for the children's department and get um, a playground. A playground? Yeah, and maybe even a climbing wall. Oh, that's a great idea, Carol. Well, with, with the playground and the climbing wall, obviously, the teens would totally be attracted with the workout room. Oh, that, I've been thinking about that for a while. Yes, that is great. Yeah. Well, actually, the Prodigal Cafe has said they would like to have an espresso machine in the Fellowship Hall. Well... And I think that the adult ed groups would really appreciate that. It would benefit them. Okay, okay. 
Well, well, for Fellowship Hall, the choir has a great opportunity. They can get a four-manual organ donated from the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. That's cool. Home run. That is a great idea. Let me tell you guys, you guys are the best. I go home every night and I tell Peg, you know, Peg, I have the best staff in the world, the best junior warden and the best <clears throat> staff. You know, Evan, you with your youth and your muscles. Carol, you with your beautiful children falling and climbing on that rock wall. You know, uh, Carol and Paul with your music and Claudia with your, with your coffee. You know, you guys are just the best staff in the world. But I think that for these issues, we should form a new committee that the Vestries Strategic Planning Committee Subcommittee will nominate. Mm. Don't, don't you think the staff should actually talk about this a little bit? You know, as the only ordained person in the room, I think it would be best to put this through to a new committee. Should I be putting this in the minutes? Uh, we'll hold off on the minutes right now. Mark takes Thursdays to prepare his sermons. I know he puts a lot of effort into research and preparation. I mean, you've heard him preach on Sundays, right? Yeah, I would say Mark has his idiosyncrasies. I suppose that the glass really is half full. He can't really disagree with anyone. I think I've never felt so affirmed in my life, even if I don't even know what he's affirming me for. At the end of the day, we all love him. After 20 years, we're glad he's here. Thanks for a great 20 years!